plays a virtual club, if you like. But those, those two million who play once, the reason they don't play any more than once is because we don't do anything to excite them about playing more than once. Um, we've got the GLA, Boris Johnson, he's a bit of a, you know, a tennis nut himself. And he's, uh, he, he promoted the, the Legacy Sports Fund. And tennis is one of only six activities. So we, we're going to work with the, 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 the GLA to uh, go into the London parks. We've already designated four parks in London that we're already working with to develop good courts, uh, lighting, flood lighting in parks, so it becomes a sustainable uh, uh, club or a park facility for a coach to run. And, and lastly, a somewhere for people to mix and join in and be sociable, go and read the paper, have a coffee, watch the TV, but play a bit of tennis at the same time. That's okay for maybe teenagers and adults in their social time. They, mm -hmm. It sounds like an excellent idea. What about young, schools? Or even young, younger kids? Our school strategy will see one and a half million primary school children within three years able to access organised tennis in school and outside of school. Um, the team who, who've been working on the school's delivery have, have developed a DVD resource for the teacher, so the teacher now doesn't have to demonstrate. They can just look at a screen and up pops Dan Bloxham, who runs the Wimbledon Junior Tennis Initiative. He's your virtual coach. He demonstrates, he shows the kids what it should be look like, and then he shows them how to do it. And so that takes away from that primary school teacher the, uh, the, the, the problems and the anxiety of having to actually be any good at tennis themselves. All they have to do is organise the kids. And we're giving the schools equipment. We'll do two and a half thousand schools this year. But by year three, we'll, have, we'll be in a third of all primary schools in the country. And then next year, we're going to start to look at secondary school delivery. And so that when those primary school children leave primary school, go to secondary school, then there's an opportunity for them to want to play tennis because they've already done it in, in primary schools and link those kids so that it's not just about doing it in school, it's actually they, there's a park nearby or a club nearby where, where they can go and play organised tennis. Is there any parts of the country that you're really specifically targeting more so than somewhere else like London? No, um, we, we, we will certainly do a lot in London because we're getting the match funding from the Mayor's office which is fantastic. Um, we're working with local authorities all over the country and um, um, of the 442 I've probably visited about a quarter of them already and uh, funnily enough tennis is, has gone up the priority list as far as sports are concerned because they have got tennis courts. We don't have as many as we used to in parks but they have got park courts and of course uh, some of them aren't in great repair either, but we can do something about that. The investment that the LTA give to the foundation to do the work that we're doing to get more people playing will enable us to help to resurface courts, put floodlights in those parks and build a, the little pavilion so people have somewhere to go. Now, the best way for people to interact or, or connect is th through the website? Through eparktennis.com. It's as easy as that. Find on there, then? Uh, if they're a player, they'll find their opportunity there for them to, to meet other people who play tennis in parks, find their local park. You, if you just want to go on and find your local park court, they're all on there, or all, all park courts across the UK. Uh, if it's a local authority, then you, the information is on there. We want to talk to the local authority, see whether they're upgrading courts, see whether they've got coaches working on them. And for people who are playing and operating in parks, it's a chance to share good ideas, perhaps go in there and look at resources so that you can you understand how to employ coaches and set up contracts and set up programs and how much to charge and that sort of thing. So it becomes an area where people can basically get together and have a chat. If I come back in 12 months' time to Wimbledon 2010, mm -hmm. what, what would you hope to have achieved by then through, through e EPARC? Uh, by 2010, Wimbledon, we will have 75 beacon sites, hub park sites across the UK. So we'll be a third of the way to our target of 225, which we want before 2012. Um, the schools programme will by that stage have really been taken on board and I'm sure it will rev revolutionise the way sport is, is actually uh, delivered in schools, primary schools. We will then by that stage of research the secondary schools and know how to deliver tennis into secondary schools with, because it's quite challenging. 
and hopefully we'll have lots of people on, on eparktennis.com having a great time and having fun. And Andy Murray sitting next to you as Wimbledon champion. Oh, that would be fantastic. Defending Wimbledon, Wimbledon <laughs> champion. Well, I'm sure one day he will win many Grand Slams, and maybe this year is the year, but uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great advocate for the game, and what we want are lots of Andy Murrays and, and lots of Anne Kiathavongs. Um, and you know what we want to try and do is get more people of all ages playing so that everybody has a good time and it's a fun thing and you know you watch all of those top players they still enjoy hitting tennis balls and that's the most important thing. Thank you. Thank you.